Hi, I'm Allie Dostel for We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm so excited to share with you the new printmaker. In this video, we're going to do a quick unboxing, and I'm going to show you how to set your printer up. Let's get started. The printmaker is a mini slidable printer that allows you to customize your projects. It's fun and easy to use. Here's what you get in your box. You're going to get instructions. You're going to get your printer. You're going to get a print cartridge. You're going to get wipes. You're going to get a charging cord and you're going to get the wiper handle. This is the action button. This is how you turn your printer on and off and also how you start the printing process. The button will light up to indicate when it's ready to go. This is the home base. Home base is where the printer sits in for storage and for charging the battery. You don't want to leave the printer outside of the base for too long or the ink might dry out. When your printer wants to go home, it may chirp or flash a red light on the action button. There's also a USB port for charging back here. Simply plug the included cord in and then plug this end into a wall adapter. Let's get started installing the print cartridge into your printer. First, you're going to unlock home base and remove your printer from home base. Then you're going to pull off the ink cover. Then you're going to remove the protective film from your printer head. You're going to find the purple arrows on your printer and match the purple topper of the print cartridge onto the arrows. Then simply slide that in and snap it in place. It's super easy. Then you're going to take your ink cover and replace that. Then you're going to take your wiper handle and you're just going to clean off the printer head. Next, you'll just replace the printer into home base and you're ready to go. Next, you're going to turn the Bluetooth on on your device, open up the free app, and then click on the printer icon in the top right corner. Then you'll hit connect a printer. You'll wait until your printer appears. And then you'll hit connect. And then you're going to select your printer. And it'll take just a moment to pair the two together. Once it's connected, you can exit out of this window. And you'll notice that the printer icon now has a check mark on it. And that means that your device and your printer are connected and you're ready to go. If you take a look at your home screen here, you can see the My Collections section. And this is where all of the downloaded collections will be, as well as any artwork that you create and save on the app. If you click on Create, this is where you can design your projects. You click on store, you can access all of the free templates, repeatable patterns, and clip art. And if you subscribe, you can have access to everything in the store. To download a collection, simply click on the collection and hit download, and it will download directly to your device. If you click on the menu in the top left, there's a help section. Our entire user manual is available there, and you can download it directly to your device. If you click on settings, you can check your ink levels and your battery levels. Now that we've downloaded a collection, let's go ahead and design our first project. In the home screen on the open app, you're going to click on the create button in the bottom right corner, and that's a quick shortcut to take you to the design editor. This is your canvas right here. It's the same height as the printing area of the printmaker. You can adjust the length by clicking the canvas button right here. Simply click and drag that out to the length you want. I'm going to drag it to four inches to fit the tag that I'm working with. Now we're ready to add some fun design. So we're going to click on the tool button here and that gives you everything you need to customize your design. I'm going to click on shapes and I'm going to select a star. Simply click on the star and rotate it. You can also drag the corners out to make it bigger or smaller to fit your canvas. And let's click here and change the fill color. And we're going to scroll through and find a nice yellow. You can also add a stroke if you click on the stroke button and then adjust your thickness to at least one or higher. And then you can pick a color that you'd like. I'm going to go with a nice orange. All right, so once we've done that, I'm going to copy this star by clicking the Copy button and just drag that over to the other side so I've got one on each end. I'm going to hit the Flip button to flip that star so it's opposite of the other one. And then I'm going to hit Align so that I can align that star right in the middle of my canvas. And the same thing on this side so everything's lined up perfectly. Great, now let's import a design. I'm going to click on the Tools again and click Import, and I'm going to scroll through and find the collection that I'd like to use. 
Then I'm going to find a design that I want to add to my project. And then once that populates in, you can click on it to select it and you can resize that and move it around where you'd like. Now we're going to add a font. So let's go back to the tools, click on font, and we'll select that and we'll change the color to a nice teal to match the rest of the project. And we'll change the font to a fun, creative font. And then we'll hit change so that we can edit that text. And we'll just write birthday. And I'm going to add a name so you can totally customize your design, which is really cool. Then we'll just resize that so that it fits in here. And move everything over just a teeny bit. All right, so when you're happy with your design, you can click the print button. And right here, if you'd like that to be a repeating pattern, you can just click on the repeatable printing button. And then you're going to hit send to printer. You're going to make sure your printer is on. And your printer is going to receive that image and click, or it's going to chirp when it's done. And you're going to then place the printer on your surface. And you'll notice the alignment light here. You're going to line up the edge of that right where you want the printing to start. When you've got that ready, you're going to hit the Go button. And that turns green to let you know it's ready to print. And then simply slide. And did you hear those chirps? They let you know when the design starts and when it finishes. Look how easy that was. It's so cute. I love it. Don't forget when you're done to click I'm done printing and then click save so that you can print that design in the future if you'd like to use it again. Let's make some custom labels for the pantry. I've pulled up this free template and customized it in the design editor. I've got my magnetic mat, the labels, and the six inch alignment guide, and those are all sold separately. This six inch alignment guide magnetizes down onto the mat and it allows you to make your designs perfectly straight. There's a zero here, and that's where your printing is going to start, and all these measurements line up with the measurements in the design editor in the app. So now I'm going to send this design to the printer, and the printer is going to receive that and let me know when it's ready to go by chirping. Then I'm going to place this into the guide. It fits right in there, and you'll see that alignment light lines right up with that zero, so I know where the printing is going to start. I'm going to hit the action button, and it's going to show me that it's ready to go by turning green. All I do is slide that across. And that was so easy. I love it. It looks great. So now I'm just going to pull this up. We're going to peel and stick right onto my storage container. And I'm ready to go. Now I want to label everything in my pantry. Let's make some custom shoelaces. I've got this design pulled up. This is available for free in the app. And I'm using some ribbon and the ribbon and washi alignment guides, which are sold separately. The guides come with three different size attachments based on the width of the material that you're using. I'm going to send my design to the printer and I'm going to turn on the repeatable printing feature and set it to infinite. Then I'll send it over and wait for my printer to receive that design. Chirps at me when it's ready. I'm going to place it right into the guide there, hit the action button wait for the green light and then look at that oh my gosh how cute is that i love it that turned out so cute there are so many creative ways to use the printmaker i can't wait to see what you make